Hello everyone, this is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart and this is a stock market education video. How do I set up my stock chart? Kind of back to basics, just uh, want to make sure we level set everyone. I mean, sometimes you, there's some things that we just kind of take for granted that uh, folks just getting started in this uh, don't really understand. So I want to make sure we're all real clear in terms of the scale that we're using on our charts. The basic scale comparison is between arithmetic and logarithmic charts. Prior to the 1960s, almost everybody was just using regular graph paper and regular graph paper is arithmetic chart uh, paper. Uh, the numbers are equal on the right hand on the vertical axis on the Y axis. Uh, so an equal distance on the vertical axis represents an equal amount of dollars. OK, not percent, but an equal amount of dollars. This can distort charts over longer time periods as well as stocks that have made big moves. And we can talk about that here in a minute. OK, so logarithmic charts, we call them semi-log because really the only logarithmic part of it is on the vertical side. And the, in the, the horizontal uh, axis is the time period and that stays equal. That's arithmetic on the bottom. OK, so that's why they're called semi-log charts. This was originally promoted, I, I believe, in the Bible that we call the Bible of Stock Charting, a Technical Analysis of Stock Trends by Edwards and McGee. Um, an equal distance on, that, on a semi-log chart is an equal percentage. It helps keep everything in proportion. For example, 10 to 20 on the lower end of a chart represents a 100% move, but that same 10 points going from, say, 70 to 80 represents a much smaller percentage move. OK, and so semi logs help keep your whole chart in perspective. Uh, you can compare high and low price stocks more easily. Uh, all of my charts use semi log and I've used semi log on uh, graph paper. Bas basically, when I first started charting uh, charts by hand, drawing them by hand uh, over 35 years ago. So uh, let's go into an example here of Valero. Uh, semi log is on the left and arithmetic is on the right. You can see by the scale here. You know, it, it starts to uh, change as you go up in, uh, in time or up in distance here, up the, up the scale, up the numbers. And yet over on arithmetic, everything is equal in terms of distance on the right hand side. So here we have a bar, vertical bar. And let me get rid of the cross edge for a moment. That is equal to five points. OK, but it represents a 25 percent move. Now, this same bar, same exact length is a 25% move, but it equals 10 points from 40 to 50. OK, so that's a big dis uh, difference. It keeps the percentage the same, uh, but the, the actual distance is different. Now over here on arithmetic, these bars, this is a five point bar. And to have the same distance over here, it's also a five point bar here. So it hasn't changed because Nothing has changed on the scale on the side. So this is five points. This is five points. But this is a 20 percent move. And this is just uh, like a little over a 10 percent move. So that's the big difference. The other thing that can affect sometimes when you're drawing trend lines on here and you'll see that the trend line moves. If I'm connecting this point to this point, you can see where it's hitting up in here. And when you do it over here on arithmetic, that point um, changes. OK, so it's down well below this peak down over into here. So it's it's a different perspective. I keep everything at semi log and it helps because it makes a big difference, especially when you look at a longer term time frame. And let's do that right now. Let's look at the Dow Industrials. This is a weekly chart. Every bar represents a week. And this is from the beginning of last century, 1900, all the way to current time. OK, so here's the big move that the, the the 1929 crash, you could see why it's, you know, impacted everybody's psyche uh, for so long because, I mean, it wiped out almost everything uh, well into the 1800s uh, in terms of the, the move and gain. And so here has been a sideways move and for about 17 years from 1966 to 1983. So uh, when you change this to arithmetic uh, and switch off of this, it really distorts the picture. And so you have no way of really doing any kind of good comparison uh, to other parts of the uh, of the century and previous decades and that type of thing. So this is what the big difference. This is the advantage of using semi log. Um, and that's really the 
end of the comparison as far as i'm concerned stick with semi-log and i think you'll uh, you'll enjoy it so this has been joe henches for beyond the chart thanks for stopping by have a great day